lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. I'm delighted be, to be back with you today. I tell you, the sun is streaming through my window today. It's a beautiful spring-like day. They say it's not gonna last, but let's make the most of it whilst we can. So today I want to take you through my recent makes. Well, I say recent, uh, I'm actually talking sort of uh, December to now. Um, yeah, so I've got quite a few things to go through with you. Um, so please grab a cup of tea or coffee and let's just spend some time together and I'll take you through my um, recent me maids. Uh, I start off actually with what I'm wearing um, and it's predominantly on my head and on my legs. So not the top, but I've, this is an ED top just in case you're interested from um, So Over It. Uh, I've had this one for a really long time. It's a wardrobe staple for sure. But with my lockdown hair, I was wondering, uh, which is getting so long, um, I think Boris has recently announced hairdressers are going to be opening within the month or so. Um, but I have been experimenting with sort of hair slides and maybe styling it up a little bit differently. And um, I think it was about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, so over it released the headband pattern. Um, it's a really reasonable price and actually um, Lisa did it as one of her lunchtime makes um, over on Instagram on her IGTV channel. And I just really liked it. And like everybody else, I've got um, a bunch of scrap. I'm looking down there because my scraps box is down there. And I thought, finally, a scrap buster um, that can not only help me sort out my bouffant hair, but also use up some of the scraps. So I have been making these like mad. I've got a um, whole selection cut out. Um, I have to feel confident on a day to wear them. Not that I'm feeling confident today, but I just, you know, um, I do just need to be in the right mood. The other thing I discover is that I was making these whilst I'm, I was on holiday, um, like just after I moved house and things, because wearing a headband and a mask is quite complicated. It all gets a bit caught up. So uh, I think these will be for days off where I don't have to wear a mask. I always have to wear a mask all the time at work. Too much detail, never mind. But look at the look at it. So I'll, I'll be interested to see what you think. Um, Lisa Comfort made it um, as a inspiration from a BBC drama called The Serpent, which is sort of like a 1960s and 70s, I think. You can tell by my face, I haven't actually seen it, but I have seen the pictures and she looks fabulous in hers. Um, and obviously I've got, you know, short hair, so, um, but I, I, I kind of like it. I asked my couple of my best friends and what they thought and they thought it was okay, very 60s. Um, I think even my daughter said it's all right, so that's a royal seal of approval. <laughs> She may well comment at this stage because she's just next door, but hopefully she won't. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's the headband. Um, so just a bit of fun. As I say, I've cut out quite a few um, to use up some scraps. And then the second one is that my trousers, which I appreciate you're not going to be able to see. These are the Joan trousers. Um, by the by the Friday pattern company now I'll put some I'll put some footage in here and um, these are totally inspired by Jane from Loopy Mabel's closet she made um hi Alice hello darling hey, come say hello come, come up here come up here darling here you go we're in our new sewing room my new sewing room and you just can't resist gate crashing my filming time can you thanks Alice can, have you got anything you want to actually say or do just be okay all right, um, so yeah, Jane from Loopy Mabel's Closet um, made these some time ago. Um, they are made out of Pontaroma, and oh, who doesn't want a smart pair or a smart casual pair of trousers that are as comfortable as joggers um, uh, and really easy to make? Win win all round, I think. So, as I say, I put a picture, maybe the stock photo or a photo of me. And again, you can see how long ago I made these because I'm in my previous house. Um, although that's not hard because I've only been in my house two weeks. Um, but yeah, I made these a really long time ago and never got the chance to share them with you. And I'm wearing them there with a stripy ED top. Um, it's just, they are so comfortable, so easy to make. If you haven't had a chance to make any um, trousers, then I reckon these trousers are the way to go. They've got a sort of like a wide leg, um, a bit like the Sophia trousers really from um, Tilly and the Buttons uh, Make It Simple book. But these are more simple. They've also got really lovely pockets, nice waistband. Um, it's all black, so this is the worst possible, worst possible um, 
footage to try and show you. But the lovely generous pockets, they've got a waistband, you can add waist um, uh, belt loops um, to them as well. Um, and so these are a win-win for me. Um, my word of caution would be make sure you get the elastic right um, because they are constructed a little bit differently to a very easy but um, a little bit different to a standard waistband. So as I discover, if you put too tight a waist, waistband in and you want to take the elastic out, it's not a case of pulling them out, you actually anchor it in. Um, so I had to unpick the waistband and put a new um, piece of elastic in. But there you go, so that's um, look number one if you like. Um, let me um, get changed and I'll show you the next makes. So here I am in the next make. Um, now I should have said the, pon the Pontaroma that I bought came from Minerva.com. Um, Minerva Cannot get the name of that company right, apologies. Um, and it is an absolute steal. It was four ninety nine a metre. Now if I can find the details of it, because it was some time ago, it is their standard core Pontaroma, but it is fabulous quality for $4.99. Um, I kind of bought it as a wearable twirl thinking, um, <laughs> I've taken my hairband out, look. Um, look at my hair, it's so long. But anyway, um, I took, yeah, I sort of bought the fabric as a wearable twirl and definitely would buy it again. It comes in loads of different colours. It was brilliant. So the next make isn't something I made, but it is something I wanted to highlight because it is handmade. Now this was, uh, or is rather, I don't know if you can see the ties on there. This is a, um, a, a jumper knitted for me by my mother-in-law and I wanted to share it with you because it's a beautiful vintage style. It's a vintage pattern. Um, now look how on trend these sleeves are, I absolutely love it. Um, she made it, uh, it's this wool, if I come up right up close, it's got, um, I don't even see the, in the profile maybe, yeah. It's got sort of pink and white flecks in it, or tufts actually, because this wool is something I sell at my shop. And she kind of, she only lives like literally opposite the shop. Um, and uh, she kind I mentioned to her how lovely it was. And she kindly, without me knowing, um, bought some and made me a jumper. I don't think you can see all the details really. It's got a really pretty um, sort of tie detail at the front, which I've just undone. I thought you might be able to see it. It's sort of um, gathered in a little bit at the neckline and it's got these, um, you know, real on-trend sleeves. I say on-trend, of course, this is the original version. Um, and it's quite, it's quite funny, really, because I've just made the sagebrush, which I'm going to show you in a second, at the top. Um, and the sleeves are incredibly similar to that. So isn't that cute? And I just wanted to highlight it and say, um, you know, say publicly, I suppose, thank you very much to um, uh, my mother-in-law, who very kindly made that to me. So back to the things that I have made. Here we go. It's quite funny really, it's obviously I'm changing in between takes and my daughter's like, oh isn't it annoying, I have to change the outfits and things. Um, it's my fault for leaving so much um, to show you guys all at once. But as I was just talking about the sagebrush top, here is my version. Now this is the first one I've made and for those of you who watched um, my shop, my stash with me, uh, my fabric stash with me, um, I think it was just after Christmas, just before Christmas, no, just after Christmas. This was one of the um, sort of very large remnants I had left um, and I'd been looking for something to, to make with it. Now the, the phase for this top I think will continue for a little while. Um, it's got these beautiful sleeves, the ruffle detail on here. Um, this is from the Friday Pattern Company and if I turn you can see it's got a lovely um, tie detail there at the back. This top neckline is made with bias binding from the um, sort of self-made bias binding from the top itself. I really like it. It is, um, as you'll know from my um, All About Billy, I'm still a little bit nervous about the big sleeves, but because this fabric is so, so lovely and drapey, um, I've got a sort of a, a lower profile sleeve as opposed to um, a great big puffy sleeve. Now I have seen some people make these out of, um, oh, I'm fiddling with my hair, sorry, um, make these out of some lovely structured fabric and the shoulders on them look fabulous. But for me, um, as I said before, big boobs, big sleeves, I don't think it's a thing. So I'm going to stick to lower profile sleeves. But I do like a statement sleeve. Um, this is a lovely top. It's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, so much so that you can't really even see um, 
the the edge of it there um, it's quite loose fitting I think I probably would make it quite a bit shorter next time so maybe about there as you can see hopefully um, but I really like it and for such a pretty looking top it actually was very straightforward to do um, not complicated at all you've got elastic in the um, the cuffs cuffs is that the right word? hem hem here um, and that's what helps to create that sort of structure um, I suppose you could pull those down a little bit more but uh, the tendency is for them to sit like that and on a day like today I've been wearing this with a sort of a polo neck uh, Freya, Freya polo neck um, um, and on a day like today I think you probably could um, move into some more spring like and uh, wear it without which is really exciting um, uh, if you if you follow me over on Instagram um, and if you don't please do pop over there I'll put my handle up here it's just at um, at so so mad um, I created a reel where I have never done a reel before but I created a reel where I tried on all of these tops oh I'm yeah, you think I'm mad trying all these outfits on today try creating a reel and putting them into tiny clips um, but it was good fun I really enjoyed it um, so please do head over to my Instagram page and check out my reel um, it would be an icon in, on your um, on your little Instagram account there because um, it's hilarious I try on all these tops literally I think almost everything I'm showing you today all in one it's a tiny amount of time um, I think it's 20 seconds or something uh, it's, it's got this really funky music and things but yeah sagebrush top big tick from me Friday Friday pattern company so as it stands literally I'm in the Joan trousers here from the Friday pattern company and um, sagebrush top from them as well um, so that's a win-win situation there um, let's see what else I've got so the next few outfits all have a theme and the theme is teal so look I've put some hair slides in my hair you think I'm too old for hair slides I don't know what do you think <laughs> just like trying something different why not um, and it, it helps the sort of bouffant hair not be so bouffant so this is um, you will have seen this I'm sure uh, especially if you're regular to a number of the youtubers I follow um, this is a free top and um, now this is the Vera top by forget-me-not patterns um, you know for a free top I was amazed um, because it's got a lot of different style options um, it's got these beautiful deep cuffs here with a lovely bishop sleeve um, which is just amazing uh, it comes as standard with a, a v-neck um, which is such pretty detail and, and something I don't do very often actually um, it can be quite hard to get this um, the v-neck absolutely perfect and I chose to make it in this beautiful viscose jersey by um, from Felicity Fabrics they do still have this available or if they don't, haven't got this color there's some other ones available as well it's a wonderful lightweight um, viscose jersey so it was quite a tricky fabric um, well I say tricky there are easier jerseys and there are harder jerseys and viscose jersey by nature is quite drapey it's quite slippery so if you're a beginner I wouldn't suggest maybe trying to cut um, to, to get this v-neck they do a scoop neck as a add-on option um, and that would be easier because it would be um, an in around neck band but I absolutely love this I haven't had a chance to wear it yet actually because um, when I made this the weather changed and it was very cold and we had snow for a while and this is quite a thin jersey so I haven't had a chance to wear it yet but as I say on a beautiful spring day like today um, so I've tucked it in today into these uh, you probably see the Joan trousers a little bit better there um, if I tuck it out you'll see it's it's a nice length um, but I prefer I prefer the look of it when it's tucked in um, that's just my my preference but you can see there the sleeves the beautiful deep cuff um, detail they also have um, a, a couple of different options and if I can find a stock photo I will you've got a narrower cuff and the sleeve comes down a bit longer which is just lovely um, really really lovely detail but yeah really pleased with that and as I say for a free pattern you know I don't think you have to sign up for anything um, <coughs> excuse me um, I'll, I'll put on the screen if you do but I don't think so I don't remember having to do that um, sometimes with these free patterns you have to um, sign up sign up for their newsletter etc um, but you know and, and anyway that's not 
um, a hardship is it? It's nice to know about new companies. Um, I'm taking part in the Frugal Frocks Challenge, uh, Frugal Frocks 2021, which is being run by Ruan from the Yorkshire So Girl and Sam from Frugalissima. Um, and basically, I'm going to have a whole video of that coming out on the 10th of March. But basically, the, the principle of frugal frocks is that you choose a free pattern it's going to be a dress pattern and there's a reason why i'm mentioning it now but uh, you choose a free dress pattern um, from available from the internet or by copying your own clothes or, um, or by any means that you bought you've got a pattern that you haven't paid for you choose a fabric in your stash you make the dress in march and then you reveal it over on instagram using the hashtag frugal frocks 2021 um, and then you tag um, Yorkshire So Girl and Frugalism in there so they can see your make. Um, there are lots of different prizes up for grabs but the reason I mention it is because a free pattern like this one could easily be extended into a dress and it would make a stunning summer dress. You could make this um, into a maxi, you could make it into a um, sort of a tunic style dress um, and Sam over at Frugalissima has made a number of dresses out of this pattern so if you're looking for more inspiration then do head over to her channel um, I'll try and link it here um, Frugalissima so you can see that she's also got a whole ream of um, videos where she highlights um, free patterns and uh, they come out every Friday pretty much so look out for, I'm going to put the hashtag here somewhere um, Frugal Frocks 2021 and as I say my turn is on the 10th of March but please, um, as I speak, uh, every day through um, March, and it began late February, right through to the end of March, there is a YouTuber every day talking about their options, their free patterns and the fabrics that they've got in their stash to use them. Right, let me get changed a couple more times and take you through the last of my makes. So in every making session over a course of a month or a few months, you make something and it goes to the top of your pile of favourite wares or definitely have a favourite out of all the things you make. It's odd isn't it, you intend everything to be your favourite that you make but just like everything in life some things turn out to be better than others and for me this was one of the top makes um, of the, the latest batch of things I've made. Now this is the Tillington blouse by the Sussex Seamstress. I'm not going to go into too much detail um, in this video today because I have devoted a whole separate video which is my last video to this blouse. Um, so I'll put a link up here to that. So please do go out and check that out for more details. But this is a gorgeous blouse. It's got a um, quite a subtle bishop sleeve. It uses um, very on-trend shearing here in, in the cuffs. Um, it's got a beautiful gypsy style um, tie here with gathers here. I will stand up and show you the length of it. Now I shortened this one so you can just see the, um, the length of it there because it comes as quite a long pattern. Um, when I say long, it's, uh, it is a long line top. It then comes with, an, you can make an optional belt and cinch it in that way. But please do take a moment to go and check out um, the Sussex Seamstress if you haven't had a chance to see their patterns. They have some beautiful patterns. Um, I was provided the, um, the pattern for this. Um, Jane and I just got um, sort of communicating via Instagram a um, number of months ago and she kindly offered a pattern to me to try um, with no obligation I hasten to add but I would I always willingly will share my experience of great finds um, and my honest opinion and I absolutely love this one so check out the video um, because I explain loads more detail including the fact that all of the Sussex seamstress patterns come with a free tutorial on YouTube and you can access those um, without having bought the pattern so just search for Sussex Seamstress um, on YouTube and you'll see what I mean which is brilliant. Now this beautiful fabric, oh I love it, love it, love it. Um, <laughs> got a whippet sneezing in the background there, sorry about that. Um, uh, la la la, what are you doing? Lara, what are you up to? <laughs> no, she's uh, having a five minutes when my, my daughter's just got out of her bedroom and she's going downstairs. So this beautiful Lady McElroy um, is a viscose, sorry about the, <laughs> the commotion downstairs. I, d I have carpets now so you won't sit, you won't hear the whippet feet as much but in our hallway downstairs there is a uh, lino. <laughs> So this is from Felicity Fabrics. I purchased this from Felicity Fabrics. It's such a glorious colourway. I know it's available on, on other sites as well. 
Um, but yeah, Lady McElroy, absolutely love it. Loved it so much that I had a tiny amount left over and wondered what I could do with it. So I'm just reaching forward here. It's a little bit creased, so I apologise. And I made, this is the shift top, um, or shift, what's well, a shift dress and top from Sew so Over It. Um, I bought this pattern moons ago uh, when I was first starting out. And when I was first starting out, Sew so Over It patterns were my go-to really. Um, I'll put a picture in here or some footage of me wearing this, but it's a really simple um, top. Comes to sort of, uh, I don't know, mid waist or waist, no, lower lower waist or lower hips actually. Um, and then it's bi I've bias bound the edges here, um, which you could do with either shop bought or um, self made. So I'm, I buy, uh, bound the edges. It comes with a um, with a facing there um, and then I've bound bound those um, and actually uh, bias bound the hem as well um, just because I didn't want it to be any shorter than it was. It's such a simple really quick make and the dress also is really simple and easy to make and I've absolutely loved wearing this underneath a black polo neck um, and obviously then into the summer I'll be able to wear it um, uh, sleeveless such a beautiful fabric it's going to be lovely um, in the warmer weather that will eventually come um, so yeah it, this Sussex seamstress here um, I will link all of the details down to all the companies that I've been talking about because I have been a very very busy lady so only a couple more to go bear with me I'll be back in a second okay we're on the home straight now I have mentioned this fabric recently actually um, in my All About Billy video. If you haven't had a chance to see that, then please, I'll pop a link up here, he head over to that in a moment. Um, and actually I talk about, um, I made a Billy sweatshirt um, out of this. But this one is actually a Molly dress. Um, I'm standing up optimistic that you'll be able to see it. It comes to mid thigh. Um, uh, hopefully I've got some footage to be able to show you. Um, if I haven't, then I apologize. Um, I'll try and pop a photo in here or something. But I love this pattern. Um, for those of you who've seen my channel for a while, you know, I've got a, quite a collection of mollies, probably three or four, I should think. It's just the simplest pattern ever. Um, so it's basically a straight line, um, long, long sleeve t-shirt. And I made it in this beautiful fabric from Felicity Fabrics. Now they did give me this fabric in exchange for footage um, on my channel. And I have, I, I've featured it a number of times actually. I wore this in my, um, shop my stash with me. Um, and also in the, in the billy, but it isn't, hasn't, I haven't done it in a timely manner. So I apologize because I think probably this is not available on the website anymore, but there is a wonderful range of fabrics available over on Felicity Fabrics. And I promise to you all that I will be more timely in my uh, making and filming going forward so that when you see a beautiful fabric, you'll be able to actually pop onto their website and, and buy it. But I love this. If you ever see this or anything like it, then please do um, snap it up because it is super soft and wonderfully soft on the inside, beautifully soft on the outside. Um, now I promise you that I'll always share with you um, my experience of sewing and I think if I stand up I can show you one of my um, not so great bits of, of making with sewing. Um, so I was having an argument with my overlocker and you can see here the seam down the side. So this is what they call smiling. Um, yeah, so um, look, all the way down there. So. Um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I wasn't getting on with my overlocker at the time. It wasn't very well. Um, and so the tension on the left needle, I believe is what creates this, the smiling there. Just couldn't get my overlocker to work um, and, and to sew it properly, but um, it hasn't put me off wearing it. And then those eagle-eyed amongst you, ha ha ha, I have a new addition to my sewing family. This is a brand new overlocker. I unboxed it this morning, which is super exciting. So I've gone for the, um, the Brother 3034D um, and I bought it from the sewing center and there's no affiliation there. I just, uh, I just, in case you wondered where I got it from. I've used it this morning and I absolutely love it. Um, I've also gone for, I was trying to think what I've done with Ooh, what did I do with that now? No, I can't see. I was sewing this. Oh, I can't see. Oh no, uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a moment. I was sewing with it this morning, um, and I, well, you can see that. That's totally uninteresting to you. I'm making a toile of the um, 
the power bra um, by Green Star Creations. Um, and yeah, some beautiful overlocking going on here, something that I couldn't make happen with this dress. So now that I've got my overlocks are set up, I'm going to go back in and um, resort out the seams on here. So you won't see that smiling, um, which was a bit unfortunate. I was going to show you the fact that I've gone for the variegated threads. You can, I don't know if you can see that or not, um, but it's the one where it goes white, black, gray, white, black, gray when you when you sew it on the inside. And I got that from the little tea haberdashery, bought that just a few days ago I've always wanted it you can get it with like the rainbow um, the rainbow colors as well but I went for the monochrome because I figured I could basically just literally have all of my overlocking threads um, in that color it you know, just looks really nice on the inside so I was going to show you that but I can't because it's it's not on that one <laughs> so um, a couple more things to show you um, so I won't take you through the detail of this but look twins I had two and a half meters of this wonderful fabric and it was enough to get um, I was originally going to make the Billy um, sweatshirt so the Billy dress with the big sleeves I'm glad I didn't and when you go over to um, the all about Billy video you'll you'll know why I put myself off really because I chose the wrong fabric to make the big sleeves with um, in this fabric I think it would look fabulous but I'm absolutely delighted that I made a Billy just the standard um, the standard Billy sweatshirt in this fabric so I can twin with myself um, in this wonderful fabric um, and then I also made another Billy um, in, the, in recent weeks uh, hooked on my ironing board here so that I'd re lean over and again there's more details about this make over on um, the All About Billy video but it came with these beautiful, oh, well, it didn't, didn't come with it Cara I made it with um, the pre-cut ribbing um, now the, both of this fabric and the ribbing came from Dragonfly Fabrics they gifted them to me um, and it were given in, in exchange for a vlog and I get paid for the work that I do with them. But this is stunning, stunning cupping. And if you need to know more details of this, I have written a blog for the Dragonfly Fabrics team, um, which is available on the website. But I'm also going to say that Lauren from Guthrie Garni has just done the most brilliant YouTube um, uh, YouTube video sorry uh, about how to use this and although I had just used it I learned loads from her video um, so please do head over and watch that I'll link that to below if I can but it's stunning isn't that a lovely way of adding additional pop of colour um, you can use it for the neckband as well but one pack for me did the um, the cuffs and the waistband there and I really love it. It's quite a retro vibe, actually, which is great. Um, and because I'd never worked with um, uh, the brushback, uh, this is their organic brushback French terry. It's beautifully soft on the inside. I'd never worked with it before. So for the purposes of their vlog um, and, and to show people how, how you can use the fabric in different ways, I also made, uh, these are the Stella Joggy, Joggies? Stella Joggers from her book, uh, Tilly and the Buttons book, um, Stretch. So I, I, what I wanted to show people was um, the, how you make cuffs with uh, standard um, sweatshirt material um, versus using, using the pre-cut ribbing there. Um, I'm not sure I would wear both of these as a set, but it's such beautiful fabric. I probably would wear this with a white t-shirt or something instead. So that was a bit of a mammoth run of things that I've made. Um, and now that I'm set up in my new sewing room, I promise that I'll be more regular with footage for you um, and won't have to bombard you with so many makes all at once but it's been good fun to share them with you and I absolutely love going through um, my things that I've made with you all thank you for all the lovely comments recently um, if you are new around here please do click that subscribe button and can you give me a thumbs up please um, the old YouTube algorithm um, has a way of uh, knowing what you guys like and I would love to share this experience with more people and grow my channel um, I think I've been YouTubing now for about 10, <coughs> excuse me, YouTubing for about 10 months um, and I'm absolutely loving um, how my channel is growing and developing and my contact with you really does mean the world to me so please please um, give me a thumbs up, 
hit the subscribe button as well whilst you're there i would really appreciate that and as i said before if you don't follow me on instagram please do um, i'm available there at so so mad and i share a bit more of my mad life my running my husband um, my dogs all sorts of different things so just a slice of cara really um if that's the sort of thing you like then i'd love to be there that would be great um coming up soon i am actually so i'm onto a brand new batch of things to make now um in my plans for 2021 i had a whole great big wonderful list um, of things i want to make and i am working my way through those although i haven't got any of those cut out actually um my next couple of projects are following on from the sussex seamstress she's just released a beautiful dress called the petworth dress um, and um, I'll try and remember to pop a picture here of that. It's a brand new release, and I'm fortunate enough to have a copy of the pattern for that. And I'm also, as I just showed you, making making a power bra um, and tempo tights from Green Star Creations. Um, now I'm curious. Um, so this is this is my toile of it. I'm not doing that any justice whatsoever, but this is my toile. Now I am quite big chested as you may well have noticed and I'm curious to see if a, um, a sports bra, a homemade sports bra would actually do the trick um, in my running. So I hit a milestone yesterday, I managed to run 5k without stopping. I can't, still can't believe I did it and I'm going to do it again tomorrow to make sure I, I didn't just imagine the whole thing. But I'm making a bra um, so I look forward to sharing my experience with that, of that with you. So until next time, please stay for safe and well. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. It means the world to me um, and take care, everybody. Bye bye.